Hello, it's Thursday and it's time again for Digital Dorsey. My name is Ken Dorsey. My call sign is Kilo Alpha 8, Oscar Alpha Delta. And today I'm going to be revisiting uh, a little option that we have for uh, 7300s. I've had some people ask me about how do I connect a 7300 to a computer to do digital modes. Uh, I went through this a while back, but it, I guess it's time to kind of revisit this again. So for a 7300, it's actually pretty easy to uh, get it to use digital modes. All you really need is a USB cable, and this is a USB-A to USB-B cable, uh, otherwise known as a, a USB printer cable. Standard uh, USB printers use a, a B to an A cable. So any USB-A to USB-B cable will work. The nice thing about the 7300, it has all the sound card and everything built into the unit, so we don't have to do anything externally. All we need to do is plug the USB cable into the back of the 7300, plug the other end of our USB cable into our PC. I'm going to swing the 7300 back around here so we can see it. Now before you uh, actually connect anything, you will want to go out to the ICOM site Go out to the amateur radio side of the ICOM, find the 7300, and you'll want to find the driver for the USB port. So the USB driver is actually in firmware updates. Um, I'm not sure why they put it there, but they put all their software in firmware updates. So if you go to the firmware updates section and you scroll down about halfway down, wait for it to refresh here, you'll see a USB driver version 1.3 is the latest version of the driver. So you'll want to click on this link. That will download the driver to your PC. Uh, it's going to ask you to uh, accept the agreement. And you go ahead and hit agree. I'm not going to do that because then it will start the download. But once you've agreed to the uh, agreement, it will download the file to your computer. Then just run the file and that will load the driver. So make sure you load the driver for the 7300 before you plug it into the PC. If you don't, it's going to, the PC is going to try to find a driver and it may pull up something that you don't want. So make sure that driver is loaded. Once the driver is loaded, then you can turn the PC on, or turn the, excuse me, turn the 7300 on, and the PC should find the 7300 and automatically load the driver on for you on the PC. So once the driver is loaded, we can go back and now we're going to bring up our software. And for this demonstration, I'm just going to bring up FL Digi. And this is all going to be the same for any software that you're going to use on the PC side. You want to configure the software to talk to the 7300. Now, the 7300, actually, it's, it's very nice because not only does it do the sound, but it also has the CIV uh, commands set in it. So it does also create a virtual COM port. So you can check your PC to find the virtual COM port. So you can do all of the uh, rig control as well through the USB connector, the same USB cable does rig control and your sound control. So to configure the software for the sound side, you're going to go to sound card and you want to find a card a, that says USB audio codec. So this says microphone, USB audio codec, not sure you can read that very well. And then we're going to also select for the playback, we're going to select speakers and again USB audio codec. So you want to find the one that says speakers USB audio codec and select that. Save that. Your configuration is all done. Uh, there are a couple of items you have to configure on the 7300. You want to go to the menu, set connectors, and set the ACC USB output select to AF. That's Alpha Foxtrot. You want to set ACC USB AF output level to about 50%. You want to set the data mod to USB. And then you go to menu, set connectors, CIV. And for the CIV baud rate, set that to auto. And for the CIV address, set it to 94H. So it should already be set, I believe, at 94H as a factory default. But if not, make sure you do that setting. So anyway, we've set up the audio here on our, our, our uh, FL Digi. And I'm just going to uh, bring up the radio. And we'll see if we can uh, just copy something here real quick like.
and this is obviously CW. We're copying CW over uh, FL Digi running uh, direct from the 7300. So that's it. That's the setup for the 7300. That's the connection for the digital in operation for the 7300. Pretty straightforward. It uh, shouldn't be too difficult. If you do have any questions, please contact DX Engineering at dxengineering.com or Digital Dorsey at dxengineering.com, and we'd love to answer your questions for you. Until next week, 73.